everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. Now, it has been a long, exhausting day. So you know what that means. It's time to play with toys. Yes, it's time to relax and play with some gross toys and slime from the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know if you've had a tough day where you are, but it's been a tough day. It's been a hot day. We've had a heat wave in New York for the last couple of days depending on when you're watching this, it's been super hot. And so, yeah. Anyway, so let me show you what we're gonna be playing with today. I should have taken my screenshot picture, which I always forget to do. So we're gonna, we're gonna be playing with toys. Toys. Okay, I should have taken a picture, hold on. Okay, I took my picture. Um, so yeah, I usually don't like to splice my videos, but I'm gonna have to do some, um, there's gonna be some work involved with these two. So I'm gonna have to do some editing. Hopefully it'll come out well. All right, so let's start off with these. Well, let me talk about what we're gonna be looking at. So first we're going to be looking at glitter slime. Then we're gonna be taking a look at noise putty. Then we have, and I'll go into each one as I do them. And then we're going to go into the poop head slime squirter and then this one looks like it's going to be some work this is the goose gazooka yes it's the gazooka squeezy surprise glitter makes one stress ball so you guys if you've been watching my channel know i had a hard time making those uh zombies that was sludge slime building block sludge slime anyway I forgot to take out my box cutter for this uh, glitter slime. I think they had more than one color. I don't know why I got the pink. I don't know, I just figured I'd be fancy with the pink. So let's take a look at this glitter slime. It says, do not eat, keep away from heat. Distributed by Greenbrier, made in China. Okay. It doesn't really smell like anything. There is a lot of glitter in there. See it? I can't see it. Yeah. So it has little flecks of glitter. Now let's see how easy this is. This feels very gelatin-like. Let's see how easy it is to get out of the container. To remember to back up and show you guys because sometimes forget well that didn't help it just went flying across my floor flying and it got stuff stuck in it okay so it came out of the container and went flying across the floor and bounced a little bit so this is what it looks like it's very gelatin like okay so we're going to try squeezing it this is very thick um and it's a tougher consistency it's more rubbery than the usual typical slime it's very rubbery it's very it's like a ball hear it it's not really something that's pleasing to squeeze with your fingers i mean it's it's okay it's not it's not something that you're gonna stretch like taffy see it just it's just like rubber it's just rubbery it's just gelatin rubber. Um, I mean, it has it has the glitter in it, which is fun. But um, and then once you break it apart, it doesn't really go back together. It's okay. It's it's very it's very. Whoa, it's very, you see, it's not slipping out of my hands. It's very bouncy. See? Bouncy. I wonder if it does bounce. I don't want to bounce it on my floor because it'll get dog hair on it. Hmm. Let's see if I bounce it. I got a bowl here. Let's see if it'll bounce. Whoa. Yeah, it is kind of bouncy. It's kind of bouncy. It's not like a regular rubber ball. It's not really that fun. It's okay. 
it doesn't compare to the Nickelodeon slime. It's, it, it's all right. I wouldn't even call it slime. It's, it's, eh. It's okay. Let's put it back in its container, in its home. Um, yeah. So now I have the air conditioner on. I don't know if it's going to make any difference with our next product. Because the next product is supposed to make noises. So this is noise putty. And it says, press your finger into the putty and air will escape up the sides, creating comical sounds. Does that mean it's going to make like farting noises? I don't know. Um, I really, I really should have gotten, let's see if I get my keys. I really should have used a, what do you call it? A box cutter for this we'll work with what we have so this is wrapped really tightly okay and I know you're probably saying why don't I just unwrap these uh, before I do the video it's because I want you guys to get the whole experience okay so this looks like it's stuck to the top there okay so it looks like your regular gooey goopy slime and it says, let's see here. Press your finger into the putty and air will escape up the sides, creating comical sounds. That looks sturdy. Uh, it didn't make any noise at all. It's not making. Oh, okay, I heard it. You heard it? It's making like farting noises. Oh, there it is. I'm going to shut off the air for a second. Okay, I'm back. So I wanted you, get, wanted you to get the full experience. So it kind of works, but not really. So you... You heard it? Yeah, so kind of. So. You press it and it makes these uh these like fart noises. Alright, I'm tired of this. Are you guys tired of this? Okay, if you put two fingers, you put, this it just sounds terrible. If you put two fingers, it makes bigger noises. Oh, that's disgusting. That's the secret. Okay, I suppose little kids would find that fun. Um, I, <laughs> it's okay. Um, let me see what happens when you take it out of the thing. So it's very, it has, um... It has a pleasing uh, texture to it. It has a nice texture to it once you take it out and like uh, play around with it. And even if you take it out and play around with it, if you squeeze it, it makes noises. Hear the noises? Besides my pug making noises. He's very interested. My dog is extremely interested in this. So I'm gonna put this back in its container here. It's gonna continue making. It's gonna continue making noises. Okay, did you guys enjoy that? I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. 
Um, that's exactly what I was expecting. Okay, so that's the um, that's the noise putty. All right, now we're gonna move on to what I'm sure will be difficult and disgusting. This is the poop head slime squirter. So you're supposed to um, open the packet and pour out the ooze onto a clean surface. Squeeze squirter and place the mouth opening into the ooze. It releases pressure on the ball slowly so it'll slurp up the ooze. And then you're supposed to like barf out the ooze. Oh God, it's so disgusting. Okay. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, so here's the packet of ooze. And we'll get the little slime squirter thing out here. Okay, so here's my packet of ooze. And here's the, here's our slime squirter, okay. So I'm going to, I have a bowl here because I don't know what kind of clean surface I'm going to put this on because slime tends to stick to papers, tends to stick to a lot of surfaces. And do I have a scissor nearby? I do. How do you like that? Okay. So, okay. So I have the little packet here. All right, so we're gonna open up this thing here. It doesn't smell like anything. Kind of smells like rubber, like the rubber sole from a sneaker. And Malcolm is so interested in all of this. He wants to know if this is food. And this is not food, Malcolm, go away. All right, so now I'm gonna pour the slime, the ooze into going to put this into the bowl. I'm trying to show you guys as I do this. This is not happening easily. Okay. Okay, so you have to like work the package there. Okay, so it fell into the bowl like a little duty. So now I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to slurp it up with a thing here and then we're going to spit them out. And we're gonna see how gross that is. Okay. Okay, so here's the, the thing here. Kind of has it has glitter on it. It's got glitter stuck to it from I don't know, maybe from the the glitter slime. Anyway, so we're supposed to take this thing. We're supposed to take this thing and we're supposed to slurp this up. So we're supposed to squeeze this, put the mouth part over the ooze. And it's not working. not working hold on i don't know if it's because of the way i was holding the camera but i'm gonna try it again so i'm gonna try okay it's kind of oh it's kind of slurping up the ooze oh it did it kind of did wait okay it did it I'm sorry, it was just the way I was holding it. It did slurp up the ooze. Okay, it slurped it up all in there. Now we're gonna spit it all out. And this is supposed to be the fun part. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> what is the point of that? What is the point of that? <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna slurp it up again. I'm gonna see if I can do this and show you guys at the same time. It's so hard though. Okay. No, it, there's, it's impossible. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. It, it does kind of slurp it up. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm going to try showing you again. I'm going to try flipping the camera around again. You have to squeeze this. And 
then it kind of slurps it up. You have to, you have to definitely tilt it. Oh, wait, I think I got it. So if you just like, okay, did you see it? It slurped it up. Did you guys see that? Did you see it? Look, good camera work. I got it. Okay, now I'm back and we're gonna do it again. <laughs> I try to slurp it up. I, I, you know what? I'm not gonna say this is not fun because I actually, this is kind of fun. You slurp it up, you slurp up the ooze into the little, like little poop head thing. And it, sometimes you get it on one shot and sometimes you don't. And he gets in there and then he just plop. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. So that was the poop head slime squirter. Now, if I thought that was difficult, the next one is going to be even more difficult. I just have an, a sneaking suspicion because it involves directions. Okay. So this is the Guzuka Squeezy Surprise Glitter. Add glitter beads and fill the squeeze. Just mix and play. It says, parents note, the balloon provided in this kit should not be inflated by mouth. Okay, so here's what we have. Here's our little packet of stuff. And there's instructions. All right, so let's see what the instructions say. Let's see if I can do this. Because I have to figure if I was a parent, which I'm not, um, I would have to do this. And it's one of the reasons I'm glad I'm not a parent is doing these toy type things. Okay, Malcolm, go away. He's looking at the poop head thing. He wants to eat the slime. Go away. Anyway, it says, before you begin, make sure to read all instructions carefully. Adult supervision is recommended for this activity. Do not eat any of the ingredients. Be sure to cover your work area as making guzuka squeezy surprise is a bit messy. Well, I don't know. I got one of Malcolm's uh, Wii Wii pads here. Okay, it says, set up your work area. Find a flat surface that you can use as your work area. Cover your work area with scrap paper, newspaper, or paper towels. Lay out all your materials in front of you before you begin. Keep the box nearby so you can look at the pictures for ideas and inspiration. Okay, so then it says start creating. Grab your balloon and pour the glitter powder and plastic, and pour in the glitter powder and plastic beads. Grab your balloon and pour in the glitter powder and plastic beads. After you have filled your balloon with these fun decorations, ask an adult to help with step three. If you're using, it says add water. If you're using the faucet adapter, ask an adult to attach it to the faucet and slowly add the water. If your faucet is unusable to the adapter, you can hold the top of the balloon while water slowly drips into the balloon. Do not inject too much water, otherwise the balloon will explode. Then it says, display, step four, display your guzuka squeezy surprise. It says, congratulations, simply tie off this squeezy to finish your guzuka squeezy surprise. Now it's time to show off your work for your friends and family and start squeezing. Okay. Helpful hints. Guzuka squeezy surprise is made from balloons that can pop. Do not expose, do not dispose of any of the water beads down the drain. You can dispose of them in the trash or your garden. Certain water sources can cause your guzuka squeezy surprise to mold. To reduce this factor, we suggest using purified water to your squeezy surprise. Purified water. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Okay. So, I'm going to use Malcolm's Wee Wee Pad here as my surface. I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm doing. So, it says, let's start off with the instructions one. I hate things that have lots of instructions. Pour the glitter powder and plastic beads into the balloon. Okay. How are you supposed to pour the glitter powder and the beads into that? Here's the balloon. Here are the beads. And here's the glitter powder. Now I'm thinking, 
Maybe you could use the thing that you're supposed, here's the thing you're supposed to put on the faucet. Maybe you could put this like this and then put the glitter in there that way. Because I don't know how you're getting this glitter in there because it's awfully small. So I'm gonna try it that way. I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm gonna try it this other way. Okay. So I'm gonna try pouring in the glitter. Okay, this is working out okay so far. Okay, so I poured the glitter in there. Looks like it went in. Maybe. Maybe it went in, okay. Then I'm going to put the beads. Here are the beads. No, the beads are not going through. Okay. I don't think the glitter went in all the way through the bottom. This is going to be a big fail. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try putting the... the if, you, if you have little children, this is not for you. Mm. Okay beads all over the floor okay so i'm gonna try putting these beads in there okay you gotta add these these beads one by one into this little balloon thing and there were a lot of beads I'm trying to expedite this, but there's no way. You can't expedite it. You have to add the beads one by one by one. So this is going to be a job. So I'm going to add these beads because you're not going to want to see me sit here for 20 minutes and pour beads into this balloon. So I'll be back. Okay. So I've poured all the beads and the glitter into the balloon. So now we're up to the part where we add the water to the balloon. So it says, using their faucet, um, okay, attach a little, this thing, they want me to attach this to the faucet. Oh, wait, my dog is just so interested in these toys. He's like a little child. Wait, you know what? I want you to see. What's interesting about this? Tell me. It's not for you. Go away. Go away. It's not for you. Not toys for you. You think everything is for you. Not for you. You know what go away means? Go away. We play later. Go away. Okay, so he's still staring at me, right? Um, so the thing is, it doesn't say how much water. It just says... Um, use the adapter and hold the top of the balloon while water slowly drips into the balloon. Uh, do not inject too much water, otherwise the balloon will explode. So it doesn't say how much water to put. So how much water are you supposed to put? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to try this out. Okay, so I'm here by the sink and I tried to use the water adapter thing, this thing. You're supposed to tie it onto the faucet. No, no, not gonna work unless I hold it. And then I can't film. I can't film with one hand, can I? So, how am I gonna do this? A 
Okay, I'm gonna try propping you guys up like that. See if this works. Okay. So I'm gonna let the water slowly drip into the balloon or I'm gonna try using this thing. Okay. All right, so I have no idea how much water is supposed to, okay, now. It's not going into the balloon fast enough because water is dripping out all over the place. Are you guys able to watch this? All right. So. Let me try it without this. It's not, it's not filling up the balloon. There are beads, okay. There are beads stuck in the balloon, in the neck of the balloon, okay. Let me try it again. Okay, so the water is not going into the balloon. It's just spilling over the sides. It's spilling over the sides and it's making the beads float up the neck of the balloon. happens if you put it on like really hot nothing nothing happens you can't get the water to go into the balloon this is about as big as the balloon gets Are you guys looking this is about as big as it gets um, because if you try to force more water into the balloon it just won't go in it just spills up over the top. And then the beads come flying out. The beads come flying out. So, and it says don't put your mouth on the balloon, but you're not supposed to blow air into the balloon. How the hell are you supposed to do this? I don't know. There, I tried blowing a little bit of air into the balloon. Are you guys watching this? Now all the air is gonna blow out of the balloon and there is no way. There is no way and now the glitter is coming out. There is no way that this works as a toy, unless you're just supposed to tie it off like it is like this, tie it into a balloon like this. Ugh. I hope you guys are enjoying this because this is really annoying and glitter is coming out everywhere. Ugh. I hate this. And can you imagine if I had like little children's? Oh my God. Glitter is coming out all over my hands. And I can't even tell if you guys can see what I'm doing, if it's even worth doing this. I'm trying to tie off the balloon. Almost had it. All right, we're gonna try this again. Nope. Okay, I tied it off. It looks like a sad, uh, see it looks like a sad condom. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, there was no way that that was working, no way. The more you try to force water into the balloon, the more the glitter and the beads would just float back up at you. There, it was just not working. I don't know if this is supposed to be the end product. Doesn't look like the picture. I tried blowing up the balloon, which it says you're not supposed to do. And There's no way that that works. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even want to squeeze this thing because I feel like it's going to explode. There is, you can't see the beads. You can't see the glitter. It's not fun to, is that, is that what you're supposed to do? Is that, is that how you're supposed to do it? You're supposed to squeeze it in the little beads. Bottle. You're supposed to do that. Is that what it's supposed to be like? Um, fun. Is this supposed to be it? Is that it? Cause that's, there's no other way of doing it. Watch this thing explode. I have another another thing like the bubblies that I had. Glitter went all over my hands. Um, I have no idea if this is what's supposed to be therapeutic about this. To me, this was an epic fail. I did not enjoy this. I did not enjoy the process. I thought it was a gigantic pain in the ass. Um, it looks like... Is that what it's supposed to look like? Yeah, I don't know. That sucked. That sucked and I have glitter all over my hands. So, I going back, I'm going to say the glitter slime was okay. It was kind of fun to play with. It wasn't really messy. So, bo bonus points for that. The noise putty, I have to say, as much as I hate to admit it, I, it was fun making the noises. It was fun making the little noises. So this, I, this was cute. Little kids will like this. This was cute. Even, where is he? Even the poop head. Even the poop head slime squirter. This was kind of fun. I did enjoy him. But this... Guzuka bull crap thing here. This is just nonsense. Nonsense. Okay. I'm going to wash all this glitter off my hands. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed playing with toys with me. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you all in a future video. Oh, and follow me on Instagram at Shopping Incense. And until next time, Goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.